All right, we're gonna do the inside of the 326 BH DS Coachman Freedom Express. Okay, we'll start up in the bedroom. So it has no slide in the bedroom, has storage up and above. However, it's a little tight with the walkway on this one. However, very similar to the Coachman Spirit, the bed lifts up on gas struts and you do actually have a walk and seating area with dresser drawers. Very impressive. I'm surprised more manufacturers aren't doing this. And you can sit down and you've got plenty of space to walk around. You can sit, these are full. I mean, I'm not a light guy and I'm doing just fine sitting on these. Plenty of walking space. The other thing this area provides you, you come around, you do have windows on either side, posing windows. You actually have a wardrobe cabinet with a hamper area. And access from the bathroom as well, which we'll see when we get in there. Now this, you could remove some shelves and with a slight modification, this would be big enough for a portable washer and dryer. And the hoses for the washer, you could, when you wanna wash it, wrap right over here to the sink in the bathroom, which is pretty convenient. But again, no slide in the bedroom, but the fact that they went with the under bed bedroom area uh, does make up for part of that. Buckeye fans! Woo! Okay, in the bathroom, and they did pretty well in the bathroom. It is a porcelain toilet. You have a lot of sink area, good cabinet area, nice spot for a waste basket. And here is the cabinet entry from the bedroom where you could have the portable washer and dryer. And when you want to use it, the hoses come over here, hook right up to the sink, and you're good to go. Now let's do the shower test. So it is a wider shower, not super wide, but I have plenty of elbow space. I do like the new style door they're doing. I'm not in the skylight and I'm underneath the shower. Now, you would want to swap this out for something like an Oxygenics, but I actually do have enough space. It's a pass on the shower. Like I said, it is a porcelain toilet. Oh, I have a backrest. This is definitely prime pooping position. Thanks, man. I'm not paying royalties. <laughs> okay, coming out here to the kitchen. Do have solid surface countertops, split bowl stainless sink. This definitely has more cabinet space than some of them that I've seen. It does have a small microwave, pretty small. It's got your standard 16 inch RV oven, it does have the 12 volt, new 12 volt 10 cubic foot fridge, love that. It's got the larger dinette, U style dinette. It does have storage drawers, so you don't have to mess with it bins is good and bad it's kind of a nice idea to bring the bins out load them up and bring them in but this works as well good windows now they are not uh they are not frameless windows but i kind of like that because they do open up a little better you do have a nice demonstrate you do have roller shades which is nice expect roller shades in this price point theater reclining theater seats directly across from the fireplace and entertainment there we go very nice now because of the layout in here with the kitchen you do have good cabinet space in the kitchen but the pantry is over here which is not terrible a little different really good pantry space i 
and we go into the bunk room, lots of storage you'll see in the bunk room. Immediately to the left here is the half bath. Again, a porcelain toilet, good countertop space, good space in there. Uh, standard vet fan, not bad. Flip down bunk, jackknife sofa with storage underneath. Two wardrobes over here. You got a couple of cubbies. More right there. TV backer for the TV. You got a nice countertop space up here. Double bunk up above. Huge, huge storage under there. Plus, the ladder is removable. And there's more, more storage behind where the ladder is and a cubby. This is probably the bunkhouse we've seen with the most storage in the bunkhouse. Really nice. They are carpetless slides all the way through with the matches, matching flooring. Carpetless slides you can see there matching the flooring. And this was the Freedom Express.